My friend, do your vocals sound like this? Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Once again, money getting spent, yeah. And you would like them to sound more like this? Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Once again, money getting spent, yeah. I have mixed hundreds of songs for artists all over the world, and a lot of them have sent me some pretty rough recordings that I've been able to get to sound radio ready and professional with a vocal chain like the one I'm going to share with you today. Notice how vocals from a pro studio sound clean, polished, and crispy, and other home recorded vocals sound boomy and consistent and kind of all over the place. If you're experiencing this, I want to show you how you can get that professional studio sound right from home because the truth is, no matter your gear, no matter your space, this is completely achievable if you learn these techniques. And by the end of this video, you will be able to get the results you want going forward. And at the end, I'm going to give you a free gift. So let's dive in, tackle this simple vocal chain that is gonna help you get that platinum sound, okay? So let's disable these plugins and solo the vocal so we can tackle this one step at a time. First off, we can hear that this song is in the key of F minor, and this vocal is pretty out of tune. Have a listen. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Okay, just for context, the instrumental. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Not super in tune. So first step was Melodyne. Just use whatever tuning software you have. And then I'm adding a little bit of auto tune afterwards to give it that, you know, that radio tuned modern sound. Now I didn't go too crazy with the humanizing. I actually set the retune speed pretty high because this vocal needed a lot of help. And with this style of vocal, this kind of trap rap style vocal, a lot of the times this auto tune sound is desired. So these are the settings I used in this case, I was a little more aggressive with the auto-tune sound, just for this example, but that's what we're doing in terms of tuning. So here's the difference already. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Okay, and with the music. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Once again, money getting spent, yeah. Okay, great. So that's step one. We're now in tune. Get your vocal in tune. Now let's see what we did next, okay? I'm adding a little bit of highs to this vocal and I'm gonna add a little more later on. I like to shape the vocal, carve the vocal, and with a male vocal, we're gonna roll off the lows. We're gonna do a low cut around 85 hertz. If it's a female vocal, go for around 125. Listen to where the lowest notes are and cut off any noise below it. We had a really boxy frequency in here on this vocal. Let's have a listen. Once again. Okay, it's, it's kind of those like those low mids nasalness that was in that uh, 500 area. So I did a dynamic EQ on that. And this is just shaping the sound of the vocal a little bit. Now, we haven't totally taken care of the boominess yet. You can still hear that this vocal is a little bit boomy. Let's listen. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Do you hear kind of these like low frequencies poking out? Once again, money getting spent, yeah. Right? Now let's bring up Soothe, okay? This is my magic plugin for home recorded vocals. I get a lot of home recorded vocals through the door and I just grab this So You Messed Up the Vocal Recording preset. And what this does is it takes care of unwanted resonances in a microphone. If you're not recording at a professional studio, chances are you may not have the a, a large selection of mics, you may not have the right mic choice, you may have some issues with your room, and there are gonna this is gonna create things called resonances. And here is what resonances look like, okay? Once again, money getting spent, yeah. Right? We have some uh, high mids kind of resonating. We have some lows and there's some boominess in the lows. So I like to massage the vocal a little bit with this preset. This is not doing anything too crazy, right? We're not diving in too deep into this vocal. I'm just massaging it and taking out resonances, just leveling it out a little bit, the frequency spectrum. I open just by flashing hands, yeah. Okay, so here's without. I open just by flashing hands, yeah. And here's with. I offend just by flashing hands, yeah. Okay. She ain't shook, I got too much bands, yeah. 
All right, next up, we're gonna compress, okay? Grab a 1176 style compressor. Any FET style compressor will do. I love the bluey setting. Attack kind of in the middle. Release, fast release all the way to the right at seven. Ratio of four or eight is gonna work pretty well um, for this type of vocal. So dig into the vocal until you're hitting, you know, minus seven, minus 10 around that area of gain reduction. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Now we're starting to get that compressed vocal sound, right? We're slowly massaging the vocal into the final sound that it's gonna have. So let's keep listening. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? And bypassed. Once again, flowing through my hands. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Right, so it is a little bit heavily compressed. I've gained, I've done some gain matching and our next plugin is now where we're gonna be removing some of that boominess. A lot of engineers will like to do this before the compressor. I like to do some before the compressor, some after, because especially when you compress a vocal this heavily, it's gonna add a lot of lows back into the vocal. So now I'm really, I'm doing a serious digging out of these low frequencies. And this is where you're gonna take care of that boominess. Lots of the times in home studio recordings, you get a boomy recording because the singer may be saying too close to the mic, there's too much proximity. Maybe it's not the right mic choice, maybe just, there's a lot of inconsistency in the low end because of the, the positioning of the mic, the way it was set up. And this will often happen with home studio recording. So in general, we're gonna need to do some work rolling out the lows. So as you can see, I remove the lows again. I'm actually gonna set this to natural phase, um, which helps this FabFilter Pro Q3 plugin sound, have a more natural sound, especially when you do anything where you roll off lows or roll off highs, always set to natural phase because that's going to keep, that's, it's not gonna shift the vocal slightly. It's gonna, it's gonna keep the sound consistent as best as the plugin can. And we're rolling out uh, a whole, we're not rolling out, we are doing a low shelf cut, okay? of a lot of these low frequencies under uh, 600 here. So let's have a listen to what this is doing. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Get in span, yeah. And you can see I'm not adding any highs yet. I'm, go I'm going to do that in a moment, but I'm just cutting. Once again, we had kind of a radio frequency there we want to take care of. Let's listen, bypassed. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? And now we're getting rid of the boominess, cleaning it up, getting it one step closer to that final sound. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? All right, we're a little bit closer now. Now we're adding Slate Fresh Air. This is a free plugin. If you don't have it, go grab it. It's absolutely free. And this is different than just adding a high shelf like this. What Slate Fresh Air does is that is it adds this this nice air airiness on the top in kind of in the style of a shelf, but it saturates the highs in a way, which, it, which means like adding a little bit of micro distortion to it. And this color, this character to the high end that a high shelf won't do. And this plugin sounds amazing for that. I'm being a little bit, uh, I'm digging in a little bit here, going up to 20%, 28% on the super high sparkle. Let's listen with this added. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Right, so now we're getting that bright radio sound. Remember, this is just a boomy, out of tune home vocal recording, okay? Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Do you hear that, that sheen that was added to it? I can boost this up even more so you can hear what it does. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Right? In this case, I didn't need to add too much because I'm brightening it again at the very end with some multiband. Let's add one more instance of Soothe, and this is the Vocal D Shadow preset. I use this all the time to just handle the lows of a vocal. Very, very often, the high pass filter or low cut, whatever you wanna call it, it doesn't do the full job for me. And if I can just dig into the meat of the vocal with this Vocal D Shadow preset, it just does wonders. Now, let's have a listen to this. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? All right, and you might argue that that's a little too much. I could back this off a bit, um, but in this case, I really want to fix the boominess of this mic and this vocal and just remove the lows. So I'm gonna flip this into delta mode so we can hear what we're taking out. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Right, and you can see I pinpointed a few spots here. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? 
There's kind of a, a whistly frequency there. And then of course, getting these lows. Once again, flowing through my head. Just taming them, right? Let's have a listen with this applied. Once again, flowing through my hands, say. Hey. Right. Okay. We could back it off a bit, could tweak it a little bit, but I'm hitting those lows over and over and over, but I'm doing them with different plugins and just a little bit with every plugin, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'm not doing it all with one plugin at the beginning. I'm not doing it all with one plugin at the end. If you do that, it's going to sound very unnatural. So the way that you get this like platinum sparkling tamed sound is not by doing one big move, but by doing it across, sharing the load across a few different plugins. Okay. Finally, with the vocals so bright, we're just doing a little bit of de-essing. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Right, and this is just a de-esser from Slate. Uh, you can use any de-esser. I prefer uh, when you do grab a de-esser, set it on wide mode. It sounds a little bit more natural. And then finally, this pop vocal preset in this multi-band multi -band compressor just sounds awesome. All this is doing is reinforcing that nice uh, vocal EQ shape that you see all over the place boosted highs, you know, um, consistent mids, and then usually rolling off some of the lows. But this is just compressing all of that and, and massaging that shape in a little more with this multi-band compression. Have a listen. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Now this is pretty aggressive. I added this last minute. I might tweak these settings a little bit. You have to listen to your vocal, tweak it as you will for your vocal scenario. And then with that, we add on the effects, which is just a couple simple reverbs and delays. And here's what it's gonna sound like. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Once again, money getting spent, yeah. Totally different from before. Let's listen to the before. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Completely different. Here's our final product. Once again, flowing through my hands, eh? Once again, money getting spent, yeah. So, my friend, as you can see, it is possible to get great results with the right technique and knowing what to do. But these same tech, with, with these same techniques, you can get even better results when you do have a good recording practice to begin with. So if you have a good recording, you can get even better results. And for that reason, my friend, as a gift from me to you, I want to share with you my ultimate home studio setup guide. This is an incredible free resource I've created just for you so you can learn exactly what you need and don't need in your home studio setup to start getting the results you're looking for. It is absolutely free i know you're going to love it and i'm going to put it at the top of the description just for you so don't forget to grab your free gift there are a ton of gems in that guide and i guarantee you won't regret downloading it if you enjoyed this video my friend leave me a comment below letting me know what you'd like me to cover next and don't forget to subscribe